Okay. Okay, this is my second video in regards to sliding powerful magnets on a uh, an aluminum surface. I've got my trusty level out and uh, besides being a little bit rough it's actually quite handy because it's got a slight, slightly uh, raised surface on the edges which sort of corrals in the, the, uh, the magnet as it slides down. Let me demonstrate what it's supposed to do. This is with the black side up in this case and it slides along nicely along the length. Most of the time. It's a little bit rough, so sometimes it doesn't get stuck. But it should be sufficient to demonstrate what I'm talking about. Anyway, as I increase the slope, it speeds up. Not really a surprise. But if I get enough slope, eventually it goes into tumble mode. Now, I don't think I changed the slope too much since it started slump, uh, tumbling. Note this angle. Let's do it again with the black side up. See about when it starts to tumble. Pretty, so, pretty close to the same. I know this isn't high precision. I think it demonstrates my point. Now, I'm going to try it with the black side down. And as you can see, rather than getting stuck on a little rough spot, it goes along also. Give it enough of a slope though, it starts to tumble again. Notice that angle. So it starts slow again. Sliding along, increasing the slope. Now you see that's the, this is the point I'm making is that both sides are capable of breaking, doing the, the brake sliding and capable of, of uh, the, the tumbling action it just depends on the slope. Now there's clearly a difference between the black side up and the and the clear side up here but it's really a matter of how much slope you have to give to it before it actually does it. Uh, that was basically what I was demonstrating because both ends are capable of both tumbling and both and uh, and doing the, uh, the the standard braking effect. It's just how well it does it at extreme slopes. Well, that's my demonstration. Thanks for watching.